Looney Farm Guy here, and this is Edible Triggers by Farmer5 Tom on Farming Simulator 22. It's for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 here on the Rock Crawl map for this test of these. Um, this mod, and this is quite an uh, interesting mod indeed. We've seen something similar to this, but nothing to this extent. There are some 17... Um, separate placeable triggers in this pack. I only have a few out here and to avoid any confusion mostly by myself but to you as the viewer um, I'm going to go through them one at a time. I don't have them all on the map here at once. I'm going to just show one of them and then I'm going to uh, delete it and then set up the next one and we're going to do them in order that i find them basically hopefully i can find them all the description does have a list of them uh you can't really easily find them once you're downloaded on mod hub because uh if you go into your mods and dlcs it's not going to be in here because it's a placeable and placeables don't appear in your mods and DLCs on console, at least anyways. So I have gone, um, basically the way I do it is I go into my construction um, menu and I take, and I go, go through each one, buildings and sheds, nothing there, buildings and silos. Yes, we do, we have a bale and pallet storage, 250. So it looks like this, like I have placed down right in front of us there and this is it now actually we have some in there right now and this is curious about this one i've i have um made this shed is base game shed i have placed one inside here to demonstrate what can be done with it we have a couple of cell points here that we will talk about later but first of all yes so Buildings and silos. That is the first one we're gonna we're gonna discuss. There it is. Five thousand dollars to place. They're all the same. And for instance, um, yeah, slot counts will be very minimal just because there's really nothing to it. Um, so, right. Um, yes. So I'm gonna take take out these four. And there's not enough to place the objects. Okay, let's let's get rid of those and let's get rid of so now you see what it looks like. Let's see if I can demolish this. There we go. Alright, so that's demolished. Let's go over to this one. I have placed six bales in there. Let's take Hmm That's curious. Alright. Let's uh, let's try this again. Um, I'm <laughs> I did not try to take the items out of there, so let's go over here where it's easy and place down one by my bales. So going in. So let's show that items going in is right here. Nice easy storage. All right. Let's try to take it out now. Not enough space. That's a problem. Um, I don't even know where they're supposed to come out. I'm guessing here. Uh, am I in the way when I'm standing? Not enough space. Not enough space to place all objects. Just one bale. No. How about a pallet? Oh, I hope this isn't a running theme here. Okay, there. It goes in here. It should appear in this area here. Let's see if the pallet will... Uh, we can take out the pallet of flour. No. So something's broken with uh, the bale and pallet storage, unfortunately. So um, what's the next item? The next item will be whichever one I find next. So the bale and pallet... I'm going to have to mark this down. Bale and pallet storage is, well, essentially broken, unfortunately. So first one... 
strike one. <laughs> 17 more to go. All right. I will go set up the next one. All right. So the next one is also found in silos. It's the hayloft. And there it is. Hay storage. So it says grass. Grass. Or is that hay? What is that? Looks like hay, grass, and straw. I could only... That's weird. Um, hay and straw are the only two that popped up for me when I went to fill it up. Let's get our help window on. So, straw and hay. Yeah, straw and hay. I'm not sure what... And it is a silo only, because if we take a look in our productions, nothing there. Right, so where is this? Silos. I just about missed it because it looked like there there it is. Hayloft. 250,000 liters. Now this is also meant to be placed up against uh, a building or something like that to make it look like make use of uh, maybe a decorative building. And so you'd press your um, toggle free mode on being very careful that the ground see if we turn it off and we get well we guess we could get pretty close to it without a collision but if you want the pipe to go like in then you put your toggle free mode on and then you can place it down but anyways um so let's take some uh, straw out and fill speed is pretty good actually so that works well and the product going in is actually also works quite well as well how many times can i say well and uh well there it is going in so it works quite nicely that one works anyway so a uh check mark on that one right so we have a uh in silos we have the hayloft and the broken bale and pallet storage moving on all right, so the next one is the workshop, and this is going to be found under Buildings and Tools, and there it is, $5,000, one slot, so it looks like they're all one slot. And place it down anywhere you like. Again, these are meant for, uh, you know, if you, ha well, this is already a workshop, but if you have a building that looks like a workshop, or you want to have like a workshop trigger in front of your trailer. You can do that. Now, what can we do here? Uh, customize and repair uh, the uh, white or the hazard lines on the ground should be should indicate where uh, where you can do that. And there we go. Customize and repair. Very good. And that's the workshop. Moving on to the next one. The next placeable mod in this pack is Farmhouse, or at least the one that I have found next as I'm going through my um, placeables here. And there it is, $5,000. It's a nice little bench, like so. We have the sleep trigger here, and we have wardrobe here this is my future self nice and fit and uh, ready to work um yeah nice little bench again it's in farmhouses and there it is place as many down as you like i think i i don't think there's a limit to how many you can place down i could be wrong about that there we go farmhouse on to the next placeable so we're now into factories and uh, next one is bakery and we're going to production and factories and we have quite a number of them here but we're starting with the bakery right here five thousand dollars again to place down and you have a little sign so again you can place it in front or beside or something a building which you may have that you want to turn into a bakery like so uh, what is interesting is this little sign gives you a little uh, breakdown sugar mill if you have a sugar mill you can send the product the sugar from the sugar mill to the bakery and flour from the grain mill 
and then of course you'll have to add the other um, other items but let's take a look at the production chain not there here there we go so what goes in flour sugar milk eggs butter strawberries and what does come out bread and cake uh, bread is pretty simple two flour equals one bread at uh, 2160 cycles per month and cake is 192 cycles per month uh one two three four five six seven eight nine twelve in five out so you're kind of losing it looks like to me this is base game and uh, uh, the only way to tell is going and getting a base game uh where a bakery here we go yeah let's put this down and compare i'm pretty sure We've got 261, 190, yeah. So, uh, aside from the capacity, yeah, I think what's happening here is this is the, the one I just placed down. This is a base game one, and this is the placeable. So what's going on here is he's taken, at least with this, taken the base game bakery, eliminated the building, and just got the um, and, and put and made a sign and two spawn points. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get rid of the base game one, and we're going to run this. Oh, we're going to run it. Turn them on and see what happens in a month. See if it works. See if we get pallets and so forth. Oh, input materials here. So everything goes in here. I'm assuming things should come out here. We'll see how that goes. All right, well, um, we have cake and bread. It looks like we have only room for two pallets. Uh, let's take a look here. Um, and it's not all that quick either, obviously, and it doesn't eat up that much. So um, the capacities here are going to be, well, oh, maybe a whole year's worth of product and output. Yeah, we don't... Um, yeah, let's see here. What is... A thousand liters so we have another if we remove this we can't yeah we can't lift it it's too heavy uh, cake can we pick up the cake no we can't even pick up the cake uh, 400 liters so we have another cake and another bread uh, ready to pop out if it comes out um, so there you go it works um, and if you want a small bakery I call this a small bakery if you're only getting two two pallets of bread per month so um yeah so it works that's uh the bakery on to the next factory the next mod we're going to look at is the carpentry production and this one is badly broken and i say broken because it has a collision all around it that must have some kind of building invisible building oh i can almost get to it here um it's like there's some kind of, i can't get a vehicle close enough to it to even yeah farm dog max agrees he is not happy um here's a tractor so literally there's there's something there and and yeah it's not something else i've i oh dear yeah Um, yeah, so don't use the car carpentry production. Now, can I get close? Oh, there's, yeah, there, it's like really impossible to, yeah, so if I demolish it, thank goodness you can demolish it. All that goes away. So it's not something I had there before um right so carpentry production is badly broken when when i say broken you can't even get to it there's some kind of collision to it so on to the next one right the next production we're going to look at is the cereal factory and we have uh grains and well we have a well it the that sign does not really represent 
truly what's going on. You need honeys, raisins, oats, and corn going in, and you will get cereal. So one honey, one raisin, two oats, and two corn gives you two cereal boxes or liters of cereal. 30,000 each of honey and raisins. Oats is oats and corn are 60,000. Everything goes in here. There are no collisions on this one, thank goodness, except for on the sign. Sign has collision. We've turned them on. Here is our production point as well. We've turned it on. We're going to see what happens in a month. So we have cereal. How much cereal did we end up getting? Um, yeah, okay. So 2,160 cycles a month. We have 2,000, uh, a little over 2,000 liters in storage, and each of these is 1,000. So 4,000 in a month. As we checked before, I'm pretty sure that's pretty much standard. Um, there's, there's nothing unusual about how fast these things is kind of pretty much base game speed for for this so product input goes in here yeah if you have a factory producing raisins for instance you can uh, set it to distribute and it will send it here just like anything else as you can see it's is it yeah it's it goes pretty slowly um as you can see here, the, you fill it up, it's going to be good for uh, many months. So there you have it. So on to the next one. Our next factory is the dairy. And as you can see, sugar and, sugar and milk in, chocolate, cheese, and butter. Butter can go out to a, yeah, so this one makes sense. Butter goes out to a bakery. All right, so let's take a look at it. Milk and sugar, 100,000 and 36,000. We can make butter, cheese, or chocolate. 15 in and 13 out for butter, cheese, 3 in, 2 out, chocolate, 1 and 1, and you get a chocolate. So looks pretty standard here. We're going to run this one and see what we end up with. All right, one month has passed, just so you know. No collisions or anything on here. This one seems to be working. Input materials here uh, from either tanker or, um, let's see, milk and sugar. So pallets and uh, milk from a tank. Output here, we got a couple of pallets of butter. And we can see, yeah, it's not even enough cheese or chocolate to make a full pallet yet. So, yeah, there you go. Um, that is the dairy. On to the next production. So the next on the list is the grain mill. I'm just going to quickly show you where they are again if you've kind of skipped ahead and not sure where they are. Factories. We have all these placeable triggers here and we're up to the grain mill which is here. Um, so far as I can tell no uh, odd collisions or anything. Everything goes in nicely here. We have wheat, barley, oat and sorghum. And it makes flour. There it is. Five, uh, so four different recipes. Wheat flour, 3,600. Five in, four out. Uh, barley, 600 cycles, 30 in, 23 out. Oat flour, 15 in, 19 out. Sorghum, 15 and 16. 270,000 liters of each one of those. We're going to turn them all on. This is pretty much looks pretty standard as far as uh, base game productions going goes. So here's a little bit of a, a schematic there, kind of just some of the stuff you can do with it. All right, one month ahead, here we go. We have flour, how much flour do we have? 29,000, so not too bad. Hey, it's actually kind of tapped out our flour capacity. So that's all right if you have them all turned on, that is. So you're kind of going to want to have it sent distributed or having set to selling one or the other. Uh, we have two here, but there's uh, there's not much room for spawn area. Obviously, two pallets is all you're going to get for this. So these are probably better suited if you send the product, set the product to sell or to distribute because you'll take forever trying to clear off. Uh, like, basically, you're going to have 30 more pallets pop up here when I remove these. So 
Anyways, uh, that one works. On to the next one. Uh, the next placeable down the list of factories is this. This is our oil mill. Again, no collision, so this one seems to be fine as well. All the products go in here. It only takes three products, sunflower, canola, and olives. Sunflower and canola, 144,000 liters. Olives, 72,000 liters. We're going to turn them all on and um, see what we end up with. So see you in a bit. Here we go. Uh, one month later, we have a couple of them here. We have canola oil and sunflower oil. And we if we look here. Ah, uh, yes, I didn't look at the recipes, but two in, one out. That's for all of them. So not surprising that we have sunflower and canola and olive more olive oil than the recipe's the same. Uh, how much is in a thousand? One thousand. Um, sunflower, canola. So we have 1,500 liters of sunflower and canola oil, uh, but only 797 liters of olive oil. That doesn't make any sense at all. Um, right. Okay, well, there you have it. Um, don't know why I did that. Bit odd. But, uh, it's, I mean, it works. So, uh, on to the next factory. On the list is the grape processing. And, um, so grapes in. Grape juice and raisins out. And you can send those off to wherever you want. Grapes go in here. 90,000 liters of them. We'll turn those both on and see what we end up with in a month. Doesn't seem to be any real issues with this. If we take a look here, pretty much. Uh, so it's one to one for raisins, which is good. Grape juice, five in, four out. So that would explain the slight difference in output, but everything looks good there. And we have our two pallets, uh, one raisin, one grape juice here. So that all looks good onto our next factory. Oh yes, by the way, um, demolishing them, it looks like it's, where does it like to be? Is it on the sign? Oh yes, it's on the sign. So if you want to demolish it, uh, it's the sign you need to sell. Right, see you for the next one. Next factory we're going to look at is the spinnery. And that takes wool and cotton. Makes fabric, which you can send to your tailor shop if you wish, or just sell the fabric, one or the other. We'll turn them on. Two wool in, one fabric out, or five cotton in, three fabric out. 45,000 liters of cotton and wool are the capacities. We've turned them on. We'll see what happens in a month. And it looks like we have one pallet of fabric. Um, yeah, so it's fairly slow as spinneries go. That's, well, it's pretty normal as spinneries go, which is slow by rule. Um, right, so we still have, well, one half a pallet in storage ready to, well, it'll be a little while yet. And we have one already out. So, uh, excuse me, that is, um, yeah, spinnery. So, uh. Pardon, pardon my French, but um, on to the next one. This factory is the sugar mill, and we have 360,000 liters of each sugar beet, sugar beet cut, and sugar cane. And we can see the various recipes, two in, one out, for uh, sugar beet. Cut sugar beet, five in, three out. Two in, one out for sugar cane. So we're going to turn them all on. And see where, see where we're going to end up. And we have sugar. Uh, lots of sugar. It's actually uh, very nearly close to being maxed out, which is 36,000 liters. That's not a lot of sugar. Uh, just to barely. So, yeah, you will, in one month, make enough sugar to max out this factory, plus two in the spawn. So we have two out there, plus, uh, so that's 36, 37, 38,000 liters. 
uh, produced in one month. Pretty good. So on to the next one. All right. So, um, yeah, the next one is the tailor shop. Oh, I can almost get in there. Um, yeah, unfortunately, this one is broken in the sense that it has some kind of awful collision around it as well. Probably some kind of uh, building that was uh, not erased off the code somehow. Yeah, I can't get over there. So, unfortunately, I cannot test out the tailor shop. Um, and if you send, if you put this down and send uh, fabric to it, you're not going to be able to get it out. Uh, or do any, well, I guess you could, but you won't be able to, well, you might, hmm, you might be able to use it if you never ever really actually physically put anything in or take anything out, because you could actually set it to selling. And if you have fabric sent to it from, um, say, your, t uh, your spinnery, um, it might work that way. Unfortunately, I'm still going to say this is broken, because... There is no way it should have a collision like that. So that's the last of the factories. Productions and factories. So that's the last of them. Yeah, that's the rock crawl. There it is. The tailor shop. So unfortunately, I'm going to mark the tailor shop as broken as well. So we still have five more to find. So I'm going to go searching out for the, the five. Uh, I think there's two... There's two sell points, so three more mm, placeables to find. So let's go find them. Worse than well, my reading skills. Uh, the paper, the paper, the line paper I worked, I was working on. <laughs> so I actually only have three more left. There's ten. Uh, there's ten factories. At two silos, a farmhouse, and a workshop. Those. Uh, will add up to 14 obviously um, so we got two selling stations and uh, what is listed as a silo on the um, mod description there is no silo because the two silos we already did the hayloft and the bale and pallet storage but there is no like grain silo anywhere that I can find so there could possibly be a missing mod, at least on console. I cannot find anything else. Uh, we went through all the production. There's nothing in animals or decoration or landscaping. And uh, in production and selling points, that's where we have the two selling points. We have selling station two. I don't know why it's two. Um, that will buy all the productions. As you can see down there, even stones, so, although stone isn't... Well, maybe it is a production on some factories. And then we have uh, the selling station generic, well, which, which will take crops. So, um, let's see. Prices. Uh, prices, prices, prices. So, um, let's see here. Selling station generic. We cannot um, highlight that to 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 uh, market on the map this is selling station two is that even oh that's not okay so crops that's where we'll get the uh, generic selling station yes yeah, selling station generic uh, prices look pretty standard as far as that goes compared to the sell everything and the the, the map farmers market map selling station and then there's selling station two corn oh it buys corn and generic so that all looks pretty standard stuff there now production production like butter and stuff there we go selling station two yeah so prices pretty much look um all pretty much standard i got a whole bunch of fabric in this van See if that's uh, no, not accepted there. So you can't, you can't. It won't buy fabric. That's a production. Interesting. Yeah. So it won't buy everything. It won't buy fabric. And that's one of the things the tailor shop produces. So we have a whole bunch of these pallets that I've been save saving, 
And where's our tractor? There's our front uh, tractor with... Uh... So let's just grab a couple of pallets, shall we? And uh, so this is fabric. It won't take fabric. And we just produced that, which is odd. How about raisins? It should take raisins. Yes, it'll take raisins, but it won't take fabric. That's weird. Yeah. Alrighty then. I guess uh, I guess it doesn't want us to sell fabric. Okay, we'll try one more uh, pallet here. Come on. I am absolutely terrible at handling pallets. Can you imagine me at a bale stacking competition? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Okay, sugar is good. Now let's just go... Uh, hop into here and throw a bit of grain in there not we don't have to throw a whole bunch in there we just want to make sure that sell selling station come on turn baby selling station works uh, wheat yeah okay that's enough now you can close the lid on this is there collisions no there's no collisions on the lid so uh, there we go, it sells it. Let's close the lid and see if we can still sell. So, circle, we'll close the lid. And yeah, you can sell stuff through the lid. So if you don't want to have the lid up and you just want the lid down, you can still use it as a selling station. And uh, yeah, so there is one mod that's listed as a silo that is not, um, at least on console, I cannot find it anywhere. Uh, but there you go. Um, yeah. Oh, it says, uh, if I would have read a little further in the description, it says, production costs and quantities vary same as those of the main game. All right. Um, five dollars a day maintenance and each one of them costs five thousand dollars so production costs and quantities I guess that means um, it's the same as the base game uh, productions as we kind of figured out ourselves but there you go that's addable triggers by farmer 5 Tom on farming simulator 22 thank you all for watching and remember it's only a game so till the next one bye for now